Hey guys, it's Abby and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a chatty journal with me featuring my Hobonichi cousin for this year, 2020, in line with the 20 prompts for 2020 challenge that I am doing on Instagram. Make sure to follow us on the hashtag 2020 creative journaling challenge. I'll talk more about that soon, but here's a sneak peek so far of my journal spreads as of this year. If you've watched my previous videos, you would know that it's my first time using an A5 size, actually. And this this video, I'm going to talk about my 2020 vision board and how I'm going to make it. It's actually quite long, but I hope you stick around and watch what I will share with you. So here I am gathering some of the materials I'm going to be using for my vision board. So while we're at it, I'm just going to be talking about why I love vision boards so much. Well, basically, a vision board is ideally supposed to be in a board but since I use my journal very often I think it is also nice to actually have a page or in this case a spread that features your vision board so a vision board shows the big picture of your ideal life it can represent one of your life goals or it can be a kind of combination of all your aspirations in one board you can play around with your vision board to showcase different aspects of your life this is a great jumping off tool to set your goals down the line whether it's pages from old journals, postcards, notes from friends, or a photo from a magazine that speaks to you, putting together this collage builds a clear macro image of your future, a tangible representation of where you want to go. Now personally, in this case, I am using a lot of new materials. I actually went around all of my art materials and stationery to see which ones I want to fit in this spread. If you have noticed by now, some of the colors are very vintage and mostly primary colors, so you have reds. Well, green isn't a primary color, but I consider it like red, blue, yellow, and green are sort of my my primary colors. I like these colors. They're, they're very basic, and the whole concept of like red being stop and green means go, I like it so much. I don't know why. Here I'm showing you a random uh, sticker set that I got from Ikea. I thought I'd share with you, but guys, because it's hard to find things like these in Ikea, and yeah, I've been like on this mini declutter lately of the materials that I want to use and let go of and sell so I think that this year it's gonna be all about that here I have also saved a lot of um, stuff from my trips so I'm going to be using that as well as this postcard from Berlin which is actually a very important postcard that I wrote way way back last summer So I think generally those are the materials that I need. Take note when you watch until the end, you will notice that I have not used some of them. I think it's easier to just, you know, pick out a group of things that I think I will be using and then edit from there. If you know me or have watched some of my journaling videos, you'd know that I don't really have a lot of uh, layout ideas. I just work as I go. But for starters, I always like to just keep everything on the base, like put everything essential on the first layer. Since, you know, I'm putting this in a journal, I think it's way easier because instead of like putting it in my room to serve as a daily reminder, I can always flip through my journal page every single day and see this spread and be reminded of what I want for the year. And I don't know about you, but for me, there's this whole idea of being able to see your goals because it's sort of like being in this act of manifesting and by manifesting your goals you are getting in touch with the law of attraction which i find very interesting because the law of attraction is basically like you're putting out to the world what you want and because generally the world doesn't really know what you want until you put it out there and by saying things like these i think it's really important because you pull yourself closer to what it is you want out of life and as humans, I think that's the bare essential that we all need, we all want, is to always, you know, be happy and get to where we want. I don't know how that metric is measured, but generally, you know what I'm talking about. And this is actually similar to putting out declarations to the universe, which is actually also one of the prompts that I provided because I usually put out a list every year, like, this year I will blah 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 blah. And it's not like I will make sure that everything happens but at least some of them get ticked off i don't know it's not i don't know if it's like more of a goal thing but it's also like being able to say to the world that you want this and being brave enough to own it and i think 
that's very important when it comes to you know journaling and like putting these things out because there's nothing quite like writing it down I always say this and I think it's also like you know something you want to say like hey universe uh, let's make it happen it's like sending out a powerful powerful signal to say that you are here you want to do this and you're ready to find ways to reach it so back to the video we are now putting yeah, so I put out the um, postcard that I had, the train postcard. So actually, fun fact, I love a lot of trains. And my favorites would be the one in Berlin because obviously it is yellow. And I always see these postcards while I'm going to bookstores or stationery stores. And I chance upon this really nice train one, so I put it there. This year, uh, my vision board is very different. I made one like two years ago and it was all like New York. Lol. but basically it was all New York and there was like a saying like what do you want out of life it was sort of questioning where I was at the time and what I wanted to do but this year I feel more confident in my decisions and I think that is really really important if you want to move forward and you want to be better and really go after what you want I think the past few years have always made me uh, think about my goals my goals and my vision has always been to succeed but you know I'm 26 now I'm turning 27 next week and I'm thinking like what does success mean is it just supposed to be like you know getting to publish a book getting to do this but actually there's also a lot of you know things that I still want to do that are not even related to my job most of it is actually travel so right now you'll see I cut off the uh, traveler headline from the Traveler's Times don't worry I still have lots of them so I don't feel as bad cutting it out but I really like the uh, layout and of course the font so by putting up a big traveler there, you see that I really just want to travel and take more adventures generally because, I don't know, I think as much as I've visited a lot of countries already, I still want to do more and see more and find myself more. I think there is such an importance in getting lost. I don't know if that's a very uh, symbolic thing for me, but yeah. I'm also adding some of these stamp stickers and airmail themed stuff my friends have all given these to me so thanks friends I know my friends are really awesome so I also cut out this quote or like phrase make the talent shine I think that's very important because sometimes I keep forgetting that there are things that I also want to share that are not just my job like I'm very interested in cooking or learning how to do pottery hopefully do sewing but that is way out of line for me because I'm really bad at sewing but I really want to improve a lot of things especially things that are also creative but not drawing like for example I also play the guitar I also do photography I also do writing and I want to make sure to incorporate that to my goals this year I'm also actually cutting out a lot of my cards and tickets you'll see here the one I'm cutting is actually a ticket from my trip to Spain last March and these paper sheets my friend gave them to me honestly I don't really like the texture because it's really paper versus this one that I'm putting out right now it's actually printed on really hard paper so you really feel the ticket texture but anyway whatever it's for the spread anyway and I did vow this year that I didn't want to make my spreads too poofy so for example if I do this spread that's very um collage heavy the next few spreads will just be flat out like doodles or writing or sketches because I don't want it to overflow too much here I have scavenged a Munich map randomly for my pile of um, mess and I cut out a portion of it because I like maps I think my whole concept also of maps is very uh, symbolic I like the whole concept of getting from where you were to where you want to be and you know taking different routes to get there different directions and we did this maps exercise in Berlin uh, last fall when I was there for the uh, residency and it was really one of my most enjoyable projects ever to actually draw on maps and really like make collages out of them so ever since I've really had an affinity for maps but generally if you look at my uh, spread as of now it's looking very very travel related and I think that's very common because again I love traveling and here I'm adding some more details and some more elements to sort of highlight what I really want if you can see there's also this phrase called Kunst in Berlin Kunst in Berlin mean, means art in Berlin so Kunst means art 
I am thinking of going back to Berlin. I am not decided when and how long, but I really want to, you know, um, go back to that energy that I had when I was there. It was really different, and I want to be able to um, experience it once more. So here I'm just adding some finishing touches. My point of note also is if you compare the left side to the right side, the left page seems to be more full in the sense that you only have a few elements but it already encompasses the whole page versus the one on the right where it's really just um, a mishmash of all the things. Honestly, if I could have done this differently, I would. But I also just didn't want both sides to be like very heavy when it comes when regards to collage so then i decided to just like make the left side like flat out one of the main parts of my vision board not like as a whole so separately if you take a photo of this you can actually think like hey the left side is actually different than the right side but yeah let's just say it's a whole vision board for me so I actually forgot i had these stamps these alphabet stamps i got them in malaysia i really love them I don't know, I forgot what it's called. You'll see it in the box. But yeah, there's like sizes and I got the number two, which is not very big. So if you see it from here, from like the top view, it's not very like in your face. And I don't really like a lot of those things. And also because my main highlight, like with regards to like lettering and like the hierarchy and stuff would be the traveler word, word because that is really my goal next year. Okay, so it says it's Yosogo. So I'm adding more elements here. You can see this like glue that I'm using. It's actually glue tape. It's more convenient because if you're sticking it on a journal and if you're using like white glue or something that's pretty heavy, it will wrinkle the next page and you'll just have a hard time writing on the next page or actually putting anything. So then I am using this one instead. So everything comes out flat. I can't guarantee though that it sticks really well in the long run. I've had people ask me like, Abby, what type of glue do you use? But for me, I just use glue tape because these aren't, you know, I can't guarantee that they're archival anyway. So this is my failed attempt to do a stamp, I think. I think the stamp that I'm using, the stamps that I'm using is already um, dried out. So I have to wash them further because what happened was the ink, when it's on the stamp, it doesn't really come out on paper. So I really have to fix that. So we're almost done, I believe, because then there's no more space anymore. And yeah, I really suggest that you should try out doing a vision board. It doesn't even have to be a spread if you just want to put it in one page. I've seen a lot of examples from Instagram through the hashtag who actually put pictures of her important friends and family. And I think that's a very good vision board if you want to improve on your personal relationships. And remember that a vision board, vision board is not always just about you it can also be about your goals it can also be about what you want out of life and it's really nice to see it at the start of the year to sort of establish again where you want to go here so don't forget to check out the uh, creative journaling challenge that i'm hosting i will provide more info down below but in the next few uh, seconds you will see the prompts list make sure to take a screenshot Here's my final output by the way, I hope you like it and thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure to follow and subscribe to my channel. Here are the prompts for your reference. You can follow them in any order you like. Make sure to add the hashtag to every post and here are the, impor the important instructions on how to join. Again, I will put them all down below. Thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!